Hey guys, welcome back to another session of Automation Anywhere 360. And in today's session, we'll be looking at prompt prompt package. So in an interest of time, I have already created this bot, which uh, utilizes prompt package actions. So if you see uh, in the prompt package, we have four such actions. Uh, that is for file, for folder, for value, and for yes or no. So basically for file prompt, uh, whenever you use this action, it, it takes a file as an input. So file name or complete file path as an input. And for this, for folder, it takes your path of your folder. And for value, like if you want to uh, enter or get some input from the user, so you can use this action for value. And for yes or no is like you want a uh, user uh, you want a user should uh, give his response in yes or no format then you can use this prompt uh, action so over here if you see uh, this is prompt for file i have included the window title what uh, the window title should look like uh, once uh, we get the prompt so i have just uh, the title of the window as rpa feed then uh, the message you want to mention like select a file please select a file to upload any any uh, message you can uh, you can pass on here and then this particular uh, action uh, holds the value the file names uh, it holds in list variable so only only uh, you can create a, a list variable to hold uh, the list of files okay then i have just loop in uh, the list uh, to to display the file name so this is a file name uh, which I've taken in the prompt assignment just for display purpose and then uh, prompt for folder for folder action lets you pick any folder okay while you uh, browse you can uh, browse till folder level so this I have taken uh, in prompt assignment so this value will give you the complete path of the folder you are selecting okay okay then uh, we have a message box so it will just show us a folder path that you have selected and here a uh, prompt for value is like uh, when we want input from the user it act as an input box so uh, whatever message you want enter your account number and enter your name enter any any uh, anything which you want from user like whatever data you want from user you can uh, just uh, type your message accordingly and whatever user will enter in that box will be assigned to a variable for here for demonstration purpose I have taken prompt assignment again so again uh, then uh, here I'm writing welcome that user okay whatever data uh, here uh, name is being entered by the user so welcome that user okay then prompt yes or no do you like rpa feed this is the message i'm uh, this is a question i'm asking and i'm expecting a response in yes or no that yes or no response will be captured in this variable here again i am using prompt assignment and printing that response so this is your your response which is yes or no okay so let's run this bot so here we have used all the four actions of prompt package prompt is basically for getting the user input uh, in yes or no format or in uh, any uh, <clears throat> text format or you can uh, browse a file you can browse a folder so uh, bot is downloading the dependencies and in a while we should be able to execute it so here uh, we got the prompt for select file so here from here from browse button you can select a file and that file path will be uh, listed so for now I'm not going uh, to browse it. Uh, I'll, I know the path, so I'll directly uh, fill in the path of that file, C temp folder, and then path of the file is student <coughs> stu, uh, student info dot csv. So this is my uh, csv file. So okay, and here you got the file name as c temp student info dot csv okay and then similarly for select folder so i want to go with temp folder 
in C drive. So my folder path is C temp. Okay. And now uh, I got this pop up. Uh, enter your name. Let's say let's enter Tom and welcome Tom. Okay. So uh, and now we got do you like RPA feed? Obviously, my answer would be yes. And you will get this your response as yes. So this is about uh, the prompt assignment. Basically, it's it's for a uh, interactive purpose, uh, like interacting uh, for the inputs from the user. So for that purpose, we can use prompt action uh, prompt actions. And in this way, like you can based on the user response, you can further uh, code uh, in your bot. Like if you, if the user response is this, then do this or if, if the response is no, then do this. So similarly, uh, for that purpose, you can use prompt uh, actions. So that's all guys for this video. Hope you like this video. Please do subscribe our channel and share this among your friends till then. Thank you.